So now let's get into the dashboard. And starting off on the dashboard would be the My Stream widget. Now you saw the My Stream view earlier, and this isn't that much different from it, showing you your history of your missed calls, your forward calls, your actual incoming and outgoing calls, as well as your chat conversations are over here on the left as well. So yesterday I had a chat session with Mr. Sean here. So let's click here and that'll bring the session back up. And from there, I can actually send a message while he's still available and he'll get it in real time, similar to Skype or your favorite instant messaging service. And of course, if nobody is available, the person that you're trying the message, they'll get it the next time that they actually log into the iSymphony client. When you make or receive a call, it'll actually showcase in that MyStream widget the way that you just saw. And from there, you can actually transfer it to other users within the user's widget just by dragging and dropping. And going into the user's widget, this is the user's widget over here on the right side, which showcases the actual users within your organization and it shows their caller ID and each of the extensions. And it also showcases each of the options that you have underneath which by default, you can actually send an email to them through Outlook, start up the chat session, like we mentioned earlier, manage your logins, which depends on the actual extensions agent's logins, toggle do not disturb for that individual user, or make a call directly to their voicemail, which if you actually have an, an ongoing call or somebody's calling in and you wanna transfer them directly to the voicemail, from the MyStream widget, you can actually transfer the call directly to the voicemail just by dragging and dropping it over. So once a call is in place, you'll notice on the user's widget that two more icons will actually showcase underneath it. So let's go ahead and call that small conference room number one more time. Let's just double click here. All right, and in that case, you'll actually see that the two icons underneath are going to be the ability to record your audio, again, if you have admin permission, and the ability to barge in on a call. So if there's another call that's going on within your organization that you can actually see through the iSymphony interface, you'll actually be able to barge in on that call and add yourself in, use it wisely. So in this case, let's just go ahead and end the call here. All righty. So in the user's widget, you can also change its view. So the default view that you actually see here is what's known as the box view. So from the box view, if you wanted to change it to a list view, all you have to do is click the icon here. That'll actually change it to a list view. And sure enough, now that actually might be more appealing to some and some might like the box view. So it's good to actually have those options there. The next option is actually going to be within the search bar. Now, remember how on the action bar with the call view, you actually saw a search bar there. So the same view applies within the user's widget. So you click the search bar, let's say for example, I'm looking for David. So let's go ahead and type in David. And sure enough, we have two Davids in our organization, but I can instantly call them, message them, or email them, whatever the case might be directly without having to search through the whole list of users.